Welcome, and thank you for joining us for this Good Friday contemplative practice. We are meant to experience the death of Christ in a very personal way. And so on this holy day, you don't need my message or my interpretation. You need your own. We all have things inside of us. Emotions, thoughts, concerns, wisdom. It's the stuff of the soul. It comes from living and it also comes from a deep unspoken connection to God from the moment we are brought into being. Contemplative practice gives space to this stuff of the soul. It lets it breathe so that we can breathe and live more fully. Good Friday has something to say to you. The sacred memories and messages that are held within this day, let them speak. Let's make time to listen. Here's what we'll do. I will read the scriptural account of Jesus' death on the cross, taken from the Gospel of Luke. And then we will reflect on the last words of Jesus, spoken as he lay dying on the cross. They will appear on your screen in three parts, with each having three minutes of quiet for contemplation and reflection. Kevin will accompany us with music. In those three minutes of quiet, do whatever works for you. Some of you are very comfortable with silent meditation and will enter into a stillness. Others of you will prefer a mode of prayer that involves speaking or silent conversing with God. And others still will need something more concrete. I encourage you to pause this video now and go get a pen and a piece of paper. And in those contemplative moments, write or draw without judgment. Just begin and see what stuff of the soul emerges for you in the contemplation. The point is to do what is right for you and to make space and quietness to notice what is in and what is among. On your screen will be the words of Jesus and in the lower corner will be a couple of words to prompt. You may not need them, but if you do, they're there for you. So let's begin. Feel grounded in the place where you are. Take a deep and cleansing breath. Relax your shoulders and the tension that you hold in your jaw and around your eyes. Open to the spirit and listen to this account taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 44 onward. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my soul. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance, watching these things. Father, into your hands.
I commend. My soul.
let us come back together with a deep breath and prayer. Holy God, we give thanks for what has been offered and received. May it continue to move us and transform us this sacred day. Amen. We will gather again on Easter Sunday, and I hope that you will join us. But for now, go with Christ, be with Christ, and be blessed. Amen.